Oh, shit. Welcome to the Moto Vlog. So this right here is a 2007 Yamaha Scorpio. Uh, it is the most ugliest stock bike. Apparently it's based off the Yamaha XTs, the old XT motorcycle. Before anything aesthetically changes, we need to make sure I can get this actually started. Running, registered, roadworthy, all that. Probably won't get it registered until I get back from Vietnam. So. But today we are going to bench test the starter motor. Kicking. Let's see if we can kick it. Uh, fuel. So it works. Runs super rough. Sweet, let's get started. I get airboxes, but they're super bulky and annoying and they look trash, but I know they're like made specifically for the jetting and the carbs and whatnot, but if you want to service something, you have to take out like everything. So this bulky thing here, we're going to take it out and I'll have to put it back in because when I do reg it, it's going to be stock standard. So it gets the tick of approval pretty easy because um, when things are custom and it goes through roadworthies and through thick roads, it starts to get a little bit hairy and they go, nah, it's too cool to put on the road. <laughs> A good thing that I learned as well, if, when you're undoing things and you don't have a workshop manual or anything like that, is to take lots of photos. So you can take photos so you can have a look how things were, um, and then you can put it back to how it was when, before you took it off. So, ching, 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 ching. So, I've given up on removing the airbox. The airbox was taking way too long. I left it in there and it resulted just trying to get the carby out. Finally got the carby out and I haven't worked with one like this before. I've, I've like, honestly I have minimal mechanic experience. I had one build before this which was like a Suzuki GT X7. Um, it's a two stroke build so it was a lot easier. This is my first four stroke. And this carb looks rather different from the other one. Still a simple carb, we'll have to figure out how it works. Because it's got this flange thing in there and that moves, that can move up and down. But I don't know how that moves up and down. Because in the old one, it would be pulled by the throttle cable and the throttle cable is connected to this, but that just moves the flap. It doesn't actually move the... This, you can't even see in there. There's like a little flange in there. Just have to take it apart and figure it out. <sighs> Got the carb out. Thought I could get the starter motor out straight away once I've got the carb removed, but it's stuck into this, so I need to remove this so that can get out and bolt that down. And to get to like one component, you have to pretty much take out everything. It's so frustrating. And yeah, why do they build motorcycles like this? Pretty much just to stop people like me trying to tear them apart. side cover off now. Alright, so starter motor is out. You can check out the rust on this thing. It is disgusting. Look at that. 
That is terrible. No wonder this thing didn't want to start. Like, so I'm gonna give it a look clean. Maybe try salvage it. I doubt it's gonna do anything, but we'll see if it does. And we'll hook it up to a car battery and we'll figure out if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, yay! Negative terminal to anywhere on this body. So we just go like that. Then we go to this. It is a good idea apparently to stand on it. So because if it's a, it's a moving part, so if it moves, it's not gonna go anywhere. So let's let's give it a shot. I'm gonna tack this to this and yes. I'm wearing sandals. I'm allowed to. It wants to. I'm hoping that I can get it moving so it's dislodged a bit. So this starter motor is no good. So give this a quick clean. All right, I'm gonna leave that one where it is now today. Cleaned out the side case, pulled out the starter motor, had a look at it, it's very rusty, it's stuck and trying to hopefully get rid of some crap so it can start moving again. If not, I'll probably have to buy a new starter motor. Got the carb out, try to get the airbox out, but we left that in. I hope you're enjoying this, I'm learning as I go, I'm not by any means a professional mechanic or anything. I have minimal mechanic experience, so this is all a learning curve. So hopefully you can learn with me. And if you have anything that you want to add to it, please let me know. Like if you know any tips and tricks and anything that I'm facing, please comment down below. Don't be afraid. Let me know because I need like I need help. I need help. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, hope everyone's having a great day. I'll catch you guys next time on the kickback. Bye.